Да. That's a nice cottage. Oh, fuck. Aaron? What is that? What is that? Can I get up here? I can. Oh. If Charlie Lonnie can do it, I can. Got it. Two things. Inferno. Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. My dad killed me while working as a guy who helps the train. Wow. Okay. There was something over here as well. Francis Morello. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, you can lay. Just do it. Thank you.
an obal. I bet you're gonna be locked. Yes. There's a key. And a hand. The dead body of a man inside his head, his right hand has been severed. He appears to have died bleeding from the The dead man was Francis Morello. His photo is on his driver's license. There's so many things. This light is much better. Hello? Smooth? What was that? Shit. Is there anything here? I can't do anything there. Cock. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. 
Oh, no, Kate. Come on. You're better than that. Nothing. Mice? Mouse? Mice? Should I go in? I shall. Hello, Connie. Oh no. Well, at least I have a weapon to defend myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, 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 fuck. He missed. Whoa. Did he kill the dog? Don't tell me you killed the dog. do need a hand oh cool. yes <laughs> Aaron holy shit you're okay Aaron I'm so glad you're okay give me a hand you're fine where's Kate Jamie have you seen them? Do you know where they are? Kate and I got separated in the woods. Jamie... Uh, Jamie didn't... Oh. She's dead. What? Jamie's dead. You're sure? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. I didn't think... Erin... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I found a way in. Come on. We have to keep going, guys. Yeah. Amazing. Well done, Aaron. You're not coming with us. What? 
Are you... I heard your call with Dumet. You set this all up. You set us up to die. Erin, you are out of your mind. I would never... You know you can trust me. Seventy percent of murderers kill somebody they know. Somebody who trusts them. It's seventy-nine percent. <laughs> but I am not a murderer. The last-minute trip, giving up our phones, a remote location, all part of the plan, wasn't it? You're in shock, and you're not thinking straight. I would never... Mark, we need to tie him up until help gets here. He'll either stab us in the back or get Dumet to do it. Erin, I would... Quiet! No, I don't think he has something to do with Aaron, it. Whoa, I've worked with Charlie for a long time. He's selfish control freak who fuck any of us over if he had to, but he's not a murderer. I know what I heard. I believe you, but maybe that's what you were supposed to hear. Look, I'll watch him. Promise. You're both fucking mad. Smooth. Let's figure out how to get this thing working. Nope. It's an obel. Oh. <sighs> Evidence case number. Officer Frank Hooper discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with a theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Why? I know there are some, some weird people out there. Look, I'm fascinated by true crime, serial killers and everything, but, and I want to know or, or learn how um, they tick their brain, you know? But to buy memorabilia of things that the serial killer did, yeah. Artist. Silver Spring University of Science and Medicine. Hector Waylon Monday. 
have been awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Okay. Oh. I never said any of that shit. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumat. I won't. My team that we dead. I'll get them that this weekend though. Let's do it. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything he said. It's been edited. I'm such an idiot. Jesus, I'm a sound tech and I fell for it. You're in shock. All of us are. Don't beat yourself up. So, Erin? I'm sorry, Charlie. Oh, I'm almost at the end. A list of aliases. A frame degree certificate. Okay. Thank you. Can't get in there. Oh. Oh, that's locked. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. Uh, is that sound? At least I got the boat key. Mark found some boat keys. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Yeah. Sure looks like it. Okay. Nope. Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news. As you haven't been to see me in six months. You have a son I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back there, back here. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out. But they're both very old now. Come home. Clarence. Please. El Monday. What's the significance of that? Uh, Hector never knew his father. Listen to raised Hector as a single parent. Jesus! Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. Mark, what the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. Why am I the only one going up? Going up, you guys. Jesus. 
Oh, we're here. Yay! Oh. Come on! No way. Uh, no. Can't I just go? Oh! No. I have to go shimmy. Oh, shit. Don't look down. Don't look down. Shrek! Don't I'm looking down! Look down. You're in the safe, in the clear. I'm really high up. Tampering with the seal <sighs> is a federal offense. Duty calls for it. Jesus. Turn on the lighthouse. Don't mind if I do. Can't you just break a window and just get in there quicker? Hark, trophy earned. Nice. Mark from some boat keys. <sighs> Mark from this name is going to grant them the mat. I'm playing a skate? I'm not playing a skate. skate. Hey. What the fuck? Dear Mr. Mende, I am writing to inform you of an issue with plot R. As a writer of intent is in your name, it is my duty to inform you of reason is in a burial plot, a pest of soil, and send his grave of your late mother. Therefore, I pray. Local wildlife can, such, can cause such disturbances, and we expect that this is the case in this incidents as a matter of public safety it's our duty to ensure the maintenance of our plots of a very it's of a very high standard and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance there is no permanent damage okay Oh, 
Oh god, death goes down. Oh shit. A death locked. How convenient. And no, let's just. <gasps> Ew. The boy who loved scary I stories. Saw this monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. He read scary stories all day and night. Oh wow. He lived with his mother, but he but she was very strict. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. He <laughs> he. He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Rawr, ah. He loved scary stories. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. How is that locked? see Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Whoa. Mark. I thought I lost you. Oh no. Good job, Charlie. That must be the boathouse. It's the police. That's unexpected. Oh. Hands 
where I can see them. All of you. Hey. He killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. We, we didn't kill anyone, but we know who did. You'll have a chance to tell your story. Oh. Fuck. Well, at least I got the pepper spray. Come on. Ah, shit. This way. This should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on. It's a girl. It's Connie. Oh no. Just work. Oh no. Where is he? Was that it? Was that it? We made it. Thank God it's over. Not all of us. I'm just glad I'm in one piece. <gasps> oh. Bye, Aaron. Oh no. <sighs> nice. Wait, I have the pepper spray. Oh. 
Nice. Oh god. Ooh. Oh god. Wow, okay. If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. up and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies and where are you coming in from uh fort wayne been driving since 3 a.m early start <sighs> well i was trying to get into the port by eight probably not gonna nice make that time, a happier ending trophy. likely not You know what? I think I'm gonna see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. I think that would be great for you. Yeah. And I want you to come with me. I could get used to how they fuck up hot dogs and pizza. What? Well, I have some leads in New York for work. I mean, if that's okay. I, I, I don't want to invite myself if... <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it's fine with me. More than fine. Good shit. But poor Aaron. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Well, I'm I'm glad that Connie survived. She was the one I was most concerned about at the end. Lacrimosa. 
the hell's going on? Good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Most of them survived, but sadly, there was someone who didn't. Jamie. So, rest in peace. Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. <sighs> what about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. But she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Perhaps that helped her see how important Mark's love was to her. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And that helped him find his way back to Kate. <laughs> Erin showed everyone that though she might be easily spooked, she found immense courage when she needed it the most. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all-expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is going to be so much fun. Hands taking hold of me. 
Skip to the end, okay. I shall skip to the end. This is Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel in Cassiopeia. After successfully rendezvousing with a Charybdis marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts are high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think... <laughs> our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Ooh. Yes, please. Season 2 premiere. So I guess this was... I guess this was it. Unless it's a, it's a, it's a fun game. Nothing too special. It won't win any Game of the game of the Year awards, but... They're, they're cool. I like it. And I can't wait to go into space with the next one. If you like this, please consider subscribing. Liking the video, comment on what you thought about the game, and I will answer uh, uh, and react to your comments. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Dark Pictures Anthology series, The Devil and Me, the season end, season one end. And I will see you in the next Dark Pictures Anthology or in the next game, whatever you want. Bye-bye.